Hello and welcome everyone. I'm Nick. Let's continue our journeys. Episode 15, Dream Day. My employee told me that everything is a mess. I can't cancel on the investor. He is traveling this afternoon. With humor, no, with kindness, of course. He's in trouble. There's no use in getting nervous, honey. Problems are solved one at a time and with us together. Relax, I'm here to help you. I gotta calm down, but I don't know what to do. Why don't we go and see what happened? It can't be that terrible. It can't be that terrible, huh? It's worse than I thought. The water will calm down, but there will be a lot of damage. There's no time for cleaning and the investor is on his way here. What if we call Rudy to fix the pipe? And we could ask the guys from the food truck to help us clean. That might work. Could you please talk to them while I start salvaging these things? Of course, I will go get them right away and ask for another favor. I will go get them right away. Instead of hire someone. Way to go team, the beach looks incredible. I see it and I don't believe it. Not long ago, everything was a disaster. And now it looks incredible. Nobody would notice what happened. Really? All set, the pipe issue is fixed. Thank you, Rudy. Thank you, Rudy, you saved us. Let's go get your payment. Finally, you pay someone. How about the guys from the food truck? Thank you, guys. You fix everything in record time. It's the least we could do. You did so much for us. Ah, paying that. Although I wouldn't mind a free lunch at the bar. I like how you think, Archie. Just one. We deserve unlimited credit. Of course, guys. You are welcome to come whenever you want. The kitchen looks amazing. I would love to work in a place like this someday. You will. I can introduce you to the investor, if you want, who knows. Thanks, that would be fabulous. But the investor is here, he is at the door. I'm ready to greet him. Thank you my friends, you saved me. Especially you my love. The flood was barely noticeable and the investor was very excited. He wants to keep the pitch just the way it is. He is the ideal business partner. Thank you for taking care of the pipe problem and fixing it in such short notice. I just did what I had to do, bro. Call somebody to fix it for me. You are the best, Adam. I owe you one. Never mind. You will have the chance to buy me a beer somewhere. Goodbye. I'm going to Mary's. I have to prepare the cocktail party for Stefano. Okay, I will take care of the baby until you come back. Are you alright? I have an upset stomach, but it must be because of today's stress. Really? The effort was well worth it, but now it's time to take care of yourself. Can you promise me that? Do you know what it would do good to me? A lovely kiss from my husband. I think I can help you with that. Adam and I decided to send Celestine to nursing school. It would be easier than finding another babysitter that we like. Yes, yeah, send your baby away, right? It seems great. You have to do whatever brings you peace of mind. Hi there, friend. I was waiting for you. I didn't know you would come. I came by to say hi and I bumped into Stefano in the dining room. He is waiting for you. He wants to talk to you. Oh, he's unbearable. Do you want me to take care of him? I don't know what's best to avoid him or to deal with him and send him out. Of course I'll go. What? I'm not gonna... 
send Gio for no food this thank you Gio but I'll handle this it's my problem yes take responsibilities I don't see Katie looking very well does she have something some huge stress she needs to unwind urgently upset stomach I just wanted to go over a few things for the cocktail party yes of course please tell me are you feeling okay you seem a bit worried she's always worried yes yes I'm feeling perfect something tells me that the baby is taking away your focus it's her baby are you kidding Stefano I told you that I'm okay all right okay okay I'm just looking out for my chef I wouldn't want this exhaustion issue to have any negative impact on my cocktail party yeah of course that's all you care about everything will be great don't worry about it I hope so I don't know how I will survive the cocktail Time flies when we go for a walk, Celestine. It's so late. Hello, Adam. What are you doing here? Something happened? Yes, Katie is a little dizzy and she lost her strength. Stefano's cocktail party went well, but she ended up exhausted in the hospital. I feel horrible. Part of that stress is for helping me out at the pitch. It's not the time to point fingers. Katie needs to slow down. I agree, and I believe I have an idea. Why don't you call Scarlett and ask her if she is available? Honey, you should be resting. What are you doing out of bed? Thanks for worrying about me, but I feel much better now. It's nothing more than pent up stress. I know, that's why I have a surprise for you. What is it about? It wouldn't be a surprise if I told you Emily and Scarlett are in the know already. Tomorrow, Mary's is not opening so you have no chance of saying no to this. And about our girl, don't worry, I will take care of her. What? Really? No, what she needs is more work, Adam. Thank you, I love you. It's just what I needed, a surprise with my friends. You are the best husband in the universe. I adore you. Tomorrow, Emily and Scarlett will come pick you up. Get ready for a dream getaway. I can't believe I'm here again. I love being a mother, but I needed to relax a little bit. You will relax so much that you will get tired of it. There is hot stone message, mud mask, finish showers, and a tea party in the terrace overlooking the river. And the grand finale, I got tickets for the theater. Sounds like an ideal day. It is, since the moment I saw the message Teravis, what a man. Wow, I work with every movie star in Hollywood. And I've never seen anything like that. What do you think, my friend? His back looked like Cecil. What? Do you think so? I didn't look much. And do you think I will believe you? You can see a man like this from miles away. Just because you are a mother doesn't mean that you cannot appreciate such Adonis. I saw how you look at him when we cross each other at the entrance. Alright, maybe I pick a little, but just a little bit. Are you sure? Yes, yeah, sure. Whatever you say, girl. Yeah, whatever you say. Is this the play we are gonna see? The rebellious baby shoes? What? It's a kid's play. We thought you would like it, since you only talk about babies and those sort of things. Really? Can somebody explain to me what's going on here? We were just messing with you. There's another play for you with the latest heartthrob. 
What a surprise, my two big loves. I want us to leave aside all of our problems today. The pitch, my novel, Stefano, it will be just you and me and the baby. And what about Celestine? What's gonna happen with her? Her aunts will take care of her. She seems very excited about the theater play. It will be just you and me, honey, just like the old times. The temperature is rising over here. The play is about to start. Aunts and the baby are leaving. Goodbye. I love you, babe. I can't believe that you've organized all this for me. Anything to see you happy. But not the baby. What's the plan now? We will look at the moon from the top of the Empire State. Wow, it's been a while since we did such a romantic thing. And it's about time we make up for all that lost time. Bringing the girl to nursing school was the best decision. There's no doubt about it, honey. Everything will start to fit into place. How are the parents doing? Nervous about leaving the girl here? Welcome, Celestine. This will be your new playroom. Will you stay for adaptation? You can do it if you like. Yes, definitely. I would love to support Celestine. Great, it will be a day filled with adventures. Not for me, I must go to work. Yeah, leave the baby. Goodbye, baby. I'm gonna cry. I'm so relieved. I'm gonna leave the baby here forever. I feel so relieved leaving our girl at the nursing school. Am I a bad mother? Wow, you know the answer for that, right? Not at all. With her in nursing school, we will be able to live more peacefully. And we will have more energy to play with her and work all day, right? Don't be late. You have the meeting with Mario. Yes, I'm on my way. But before I go, I want to tell you something. Today is a great day for Celestine. Tuesday, the 20th. I will never forget it. See you, honey. Tell me later how it went. I came running. I didn't want to lose Celestine's first day at nursing school. What day is it today? Can you remind me? Tuesday the 20th. Why? Because I just realized something. My period is late. Celestine's brother is coming? No. She needs a magical spring for that. Thank you everyone for watching. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And see you guys on our next journeys.